parasite that causes malaria can kill someone within 24 hours of symptoms appearing. Symptoms are like, they're kind of like the flu. You get a fever, you get a headache, you get chills. The only difference between uh, the flu and, and even COVID and malaria, well, there's a lot of differences, but their main difference is malaria is caused by a parasite. Basically, the parasite comes from a mosquito. You get bitten by a mosquito. Uh, the mosquito bites you through your skin and they release, I guess, baby parasites. They're called sporozytes. So sporozytes get into your bloodstream and they travel to your liver and then to your red blood cells. And then the infected cells, they burst and they release like millions of other parasites, which is the next level called merozytes. Is it merozytes or merozytes? Merozoids, something like that. I can't pronounce these things. So, they infect other red blood cells. So basically your blood cells are infected by the baby form of the parasite. And then a more mature form of the, form of the parasite uh, infects other red blood cells. And this cycle keeps coming and happening and happening until the parasites are gotten rid of. So, in order to treat malaria, They've been coming up with different medical medicines and preventative measures like mosquito nets, insecticides. Uh, this has been taken several decades. So it's been like a worldwide effort. And on a positive note in regards to prevention and treatment, its cases have been cut by 40% and the number of deaths has fallen by 60%. And but recently, uh, there's been a slight increase, kind of a quiet increase in malaria cases. So uh, this has been some cause of concern because there has been a steady decline for decades because of all the efforts, the worldwide efforts that people have been putting in. So they know that parasites cause the sickness which in turn make, it's not a virus, it's not a bacteria, so they have to target it differently than they would target a virus. And the parasites also mutate. It's just like when you treat any type of anything, whether it's a virus or a bacteria, uh, things tend to mutate uh, and fight off the old um, treatment methods. And they have to come up with new methods to help you overcome the infection. So with the new methods, uh, this vaccine, a malaria vaccine, has been developed for children. And this vaccine has been proven to be about 30% effective. So this is way less effective than, I guess, maybe a... I guess even COVID, but at least it's a positive step, right? You use this vaccine in tandem with the mosquito nets and the insecticides. It's kind of like a boost, right? Since um, malaria had been increasing quietly in like the past five years or so, this is kind of like a, I guess it's a booster treatment. Uh, it adds to the, or booster as in prevention because it can assist with the treatments that you're given, the drugs that you're given. They're still going to use those to treat malaria for those who get it. But if, based on the theory of this vaccine, or based on the logic, I guess, uh, behind the vaccine, if you take this vaccine and in combination, in tandem with prevention methods like mosquito nets, insecticides, if you get it, uh, it increases your chances of overcoming malaria along with the usual drug treatments that they treat malaria with now. So they say that the vaccine has been approved for general use uh, and they want to increase equity and in access to malaria prevention. So they want to reach children. So the vaccine has been offered for children and you have to take basically four vaccines over the course of a few years. I think they start at two or three can't remember I read a couple articles and basically the vaccine targets each each uh, stage of the 
infection is targeted by one of four of these vaccines. One of them uh, it targets the malaria infection at the baby stage, and it, tar it targets the malaria infection at like an intermediate stage. And then it targets the malaria parasite at a mature stage. The parasite tra is transmitted by a bite from a mosquito. So to combat the parasite, the vaccine was created from, the vaccine is called RTS. RTSS or Muscurix. M-O-S-Q-U-I-R-I-X. So Muscurix is made of a protein from a parasite and it bind this protein to a second protein from hepatitis B virus, which helps the immune cells recognize the substance and this helps them fight the malaria infection. And this is, this is basically given in five doses uh, from the ages, sorry, sorry, four doses from the ages of five months of age. So they basically bind the parasite protein to the protein of a hepatitis B virus. And I think that's how it uh, helps your immune system to combat the malaria infection or prevent the malaria infection as well as assist with treating. Uh, I think this is a uh, brilliant way to approach it, uh, even though uh, I know that by itself it's only 30% effective. But again, combined with uh, previous drug treatments and mosquito netting, insecticides, I think this advances the. Uh, treatment and prevention of malaria as a whole and I think it's a great idea that it's being marketed for children to help them build a better immune response growing into adulthood and I think that will improve the I guess resistance to malaria infection as a group uh, this is a good breakthrough it's a good news uh, feel free to let me know what you think and leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for listening